I just love winter for one reason. I go so red. What is this all about? I don't get it. I'm moisturized, but I don't look like I do. <laughs> ah, thank you for drying out my skin, winter. I really I fucking appreciate it. Here we go again. Another boring old sat down video talking to the camera, not doing anything. Boring. Yeah, I know. I get the point. But either way, there's a little reason why I'm doing this video. And as you've seen by the title, it's about motivation and just a general discussion about it. The main reason why I'm sat down doing this video again is because I don't know if you can hear outside, but in the UK, there's a huge storm. Genuinely, 90 degree wind. It's raining. It's horrible. It's impossible to film outside. It's impossible to even go outside and walk in a straight line. It's so windy. Trees are falling down left, right and centre. So, so that's fully ruined my weekend. I cannot film anything. So I'm here inside, sat down and doing something that I can one of the only things I can really do, which is just talk to you guys about situations. And they actually seem to be really enjoyed. So, you know, I'm going to continue it. First things first, I want to talk about. So as we know, it's nearly the end of the year. Motivation, I feel like it's a weird one in December. It's either really high or really low. I feel like a lot of people is pretty low where it's winter. It's the end of the year. So not, not, nothing's really happening. You can't really go outside. The only thing you're looking forward to is Christmas and the new year. And then everyone gets their motivation back come the new year. Like with the new year's resolutions and all that pointless stuff. That's what I want to talk about first of all. So new year's resolutions resolution. Realistically, why the hell do we do them? I don't get it. New year, new me sort of thing. Everyone has that same mindset. I personally think if you have a goal or have something you want to work towards, don't wait until a certain date to do it. Start now. Realistically, it's December. It's the start of December. Start right now rather than waiting until January to start it. I don't get all that stuff. I see what people mean in a way. I don't personally like to do it, the new year's resolution, because I think what's a date going to change realistically? If you can't stick to it throughout the year, whatever time it is, the new year isn't going to make a difference. But I guess like people have the mindset of like, a fresh new year, new start. Whereas trying to start something at the end of the year where you've gone through so much throughout, it doesn't feel as fresh, okay? You feel like you're sort of, like, especially if you had a bad year, there's a lot to sort of get around. So I, I get it in a way, but I don't in other ways. It's a bit weird. If you're not gonna start on whatever it is right here, right now, then have it all prepped for the new year. So if you're planning on doing something come January the 1st or changing something about yourself, don't just magically think, in a click of the fingers, that one day, that new year, it's all going to change. It's all going to be so easy. If you're not going to just do it there and then, like if you're not going to start it right now, then have it so prepped that when it comes to January the 1st, it's going to be easy. It's actually possible to do. So I see so many people, especially when it comes to like physical changes and like exercise and all that stuff, that's the most important one. And not only that, it's the most popular one. Everyone says new year, I'm going to be healthy this year. I'm going to go to the gym, work out, whatever it is. They're the classics. I don't even do that stuff. If that is you and you actually want to change that come the new year, don't just think, just do absolutely nothing for the whole of December, eat so much bad food throughout the Christmas period, then come January the 1st, it's all going to be easy and magic and I'm going to start something. So throughout December, which is difficult with the Christmas period and you know everyone's drinking a lot, everyone's eating a lot of nice food, if that's your physical change, don't go all or nothing in the terms of a day because that's not going to change anything. You're not going to be able to stick to it no matter the new year. Throughout December, start prepping yourself, whether that's actually cutting down on the food or little exercise and especially if you're not going to do any of it, have it all in writing and start taking notes of exactly what you're going to do for your new year's resolution come the new year a new year isn't going to be a better time than right now right now isn't going to be a better time than new year really if you've got a goal or something you want to chase right now is the way you want to start it and any success any goal isn't going to be easy. It's going to have its ups and downs. It's going to be challenging. It's always going to be a struggle. They're not going to be easy and it's going to be more struggles than good most likely, but that's why they're hard. That's why not many people achieve it. You know, if your goals were easy, everyone would be doing it. Everyone would be successful and achieve it. But the fact that it's always difficult determines people are going to make it and not. It's all about, you know, work ethic, motivation, and just not giving up, which is so much easier said than done, I know, but it's so obvious again. Don't give up, carry on going and something will come of it. But people always give up just as they get into the good part. But they could, you can't see it. Hindsight's not a thing. You can't see what's ahead of you. People don't see that they're just one step away from actually reaching the goals and dreams they want to achieve. This isn't just about motivation or about reaching your goals and stuff. I've already done that. It's about the time of year we're in. And this is what's going through my head. You lose a lot of motivation this time of year. You feel really like trapped and sort of isolated, especially in the winter, especially being in the UK. Yeah, there's a lot you've got to get over and there's a lot to get over hurdles and stuff like that. But keeping yourself motivated, how I sort of do it, is just when you have something you want to work towards, when there's something you want to achieve i think for me that's been enough to carry on through the like tough times every time i want to give up or it's not going my way i'm so passionate about what i love and i really want to achieve it but that's enough to carry me on but sometimes that's not enough for everyone they need a bit more whether that's you know doing it for a certain person you know getting success for family or children whatever the situation it is try and find that one thing that motivates you and try and find motivation within yourself all the time and by doing that especially if you don't actually know what you want to do i'm so fortunate that i know what industry i want to do what my dreams are but a lot of people most people I know in fact in my life have no idea what direction to go in they're not really passionate about anything obviously you can't be motivated to reach something 
where they haven't got a passion for anything in the first place. And my advice for finding that is by trying new things. And once again, it's a very blatant and simple answer, but it's because it's the truth. You're not going to find your passion if you're not trying new things. Don't do the same thing, expect different results. Simple as. And a lot of people need that simple sort of fact telling to them. They know it, but they don't ever listen to it. But in terms of this, you've got to sort of listen to it. If you don't know what your passion is, obviously everything you're doing in your day to day, the hobbies and fun you're having, if you're not passionate about it, obviously it's not for you. There's something out there that is going to be for you and you're not going to figure it out by doing the same things by sitting indoors playing computer games or doing the same sports that you're not interested in you're not going to find something else if you're not going to try but i know a lot of people don't subscribe for this sort of content they like my you know vlogs and my day-to-day -day adventures and stuff like that i like to spice it up a little bit i like to do a variety of everything but there's a lot of people that did subscribe for this sort of content and not only that you know sometimes it needs to happen just to sit down talk to the camera giving some life experience that i've experienced throughout my life or motivation if i can help you guys in any way i love doing it but today especially with the storm and stuff there's not a whole lot i could do and my passion is filming making youtube videos if i'm not doing that it puts me it makes me so upset i'm in such a bad mood and that's why i hate this time of year where it's so stored like storms rain the weather's terrible especially like after work it's dark and i can't really film like for me personally that's when i lose motivation when i'm not filming i'm not happy simple as everyone always asks me why i do youtube why i do these sort of videos and it's because i love it it makes me really happy it gives me motivation it gives me something to do every day because if i wasn't doing this i would probably be real depressed and real sort of just in a terrible situation this keeps me happy whereas most people my age love going out partying doing all that sort of stuff not really for me picking up a camera and filming my life and just like creating content is what keeps me happy keeps me motivated but even i struggle and this time of year is probably when i struggle most when i'm very isolated i can't go out and film all the content i want to do i'm just stuck indoors doing nothing so i try to make the best out of it in the summer when i was giving my life experiences and advice and all that stuff tens of thousands of views on those videos also i gained thousands of subscribers from those videos like people are here to watch it for some reason me a 20 year old regular guy giving advice giving life experiences i've had people really relate to it and i'm so thankful people do so i thought i'm gonna do another video like it today nothing really else to it it's like a, it's like 10 a.m as well it's 10 o'clock in the morning and it already feels like i've been awake for about 17 hours like it's so long these days drag out so much especially on the weekends we're dark in the mornings it gets dark so early and the only thing i'm excited for is to go christmas shopping later and genuinely i'm just so excited for the new year to roll around now even though i love christmas i'll be happy when it's over and done with so we can get started with the next year you know the weather get out of this winter period just start traveling the world experiencing it i'm so excited for things to come